Some of our police dogs that we have here, it's the canine Gozer and canine Ollie. And they what they do is they use here. their nose to smell uh, and locate things that people try and hide that they're not supposed to have. And then if a bad guy does something and runs, our dogs can use their nose and find them and, and help us take them uh, into custody. Yeah, yeah oh, take them cool, to jail. Cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> y'all want to see them? <laughs> All right, y'all just stay right there, okay? Don't try to pet them. Why? I feel one before. There it is. He got mustard right there. I'll pet one before. Do that again. I'm still hiding. Oh, it's like. He's like, I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I saw a kid out of here. Yeah. I saw a kid out of here. Okay, look. He's big. Oh, let's. Don't tell me no. Let's. He's so this is Ollie, he's nine years old. He's a Belgian Malinois German Shepherd mix. He lives with me. He's one of oh, our wow. senior dogs. So he's been around for a while. I've had him uh, since he's about a little over a year and a half old. So he lives with me and goes home with me and we spend so much time together, it's not even funny. <laughs> Y'all like him? Yeah, you see that doggy? Y'all want to see the other new, the newest dog? You want to see the other dog? Yeah. All right, hold on a second. Oliver, what's wrong with? They're police dogs. Oh. What? She has a little one. Oliver. Hi. Hey, Ronald. Oh. I said Ronald. Canine goes with us coming out. He's he'll be two in July, so he's young. Oh, he's a little baby. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to touch him, though. You see the doggy? He'll be on the street soon. He'll come say hi to you guys. How long do they usually train? Say again? How long do they train, the dogs? He's, he's in training. Uh, it's generally an 8 to 10 week program. And that's just kind of getting down to basics and everything to bait and uh, make him patrol ready, get him on the street. You know, it, takes, it takes a good time to become, you know, a seasoned dog. Yeah. But, um, you know, we get this breed because, I mean, they're excellent working dogs. Right. And, um, you know, I guess uh, between eight and ten weeks, generally. Okay. Just to kind of get them do the basic stuff. Uh, so we're, we're training them, um, and the training is much for the handlers as for the dogs. All right, so when he gets, when he completes his training, uh, Summer here is not only one of our canine handlers, he's also one of our, he's also our canine trainer. So he trains our dogs and he helps out with other dogs. So when he gets done with the AV class, he'll have all the basic needs that he needs to be certified through the uh, an 
narcotics. To, that's, uh, it's called the NNDDAA, um, and it's, it's just an narcotics group is what it is. It certifies dogs that, that they can detect things that they're supposed to detect. And then they also do a certification through proper bite work, release, and holds, and comebacks, and obedience, and all that kind of stuff. So once he's done that, he's, he's eligible to go. That does not complete their training. Oh, okay. Officer Schomburg is going to hold bi-monthly training. So it's 16 hours, two eight-hour days every month. With, with the, now, COVID kind of wrecked that the last few years or whatever. So we kind of you know, had to skip a day here and there. But as a general rule, like they'll, they'll train another 16 hours. So, okay. Yeah. So eight to ten weeks for them to get street ready, a year before we consider them a seasoned dog team. And then from there on, you know, we just do maintenance training. Okay. Everybody say bye, Gozer. Bye. What was the first dog's name? His name is Ollie. Ollie. Ollie and Gozer. Yeah. All right, you guys, so it is Caleb's birthday. He's turning four. He just had a police car parade and we checked out the canine dog. So now we are about to sing happy birthday and light his candles. Everybody's outside jumping. It's been a long day. It's like four o'clock and I have not eaten. And I just realized that. Okay. All right, ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Caleb. Happy birthday to you.
added some onion some celery um I'll probably add some bell peppers to this as well and this is the first roast and the second one is searing off now i'll also added beef broth to this so it's beef broth onion celery and then i'll probably add some bell pepper and then we're going to cook it my oven is preheating at 325 we're going to cook it at 325 for like the first probably two hours and then the last hour I cook it at like 350. So yeah, that's what's for dinner. All right y'all, so while that is cooking, I want to share some of the things that I bought from Ikea. I bought another strainer. I have one of these, but it's um, wearing out. And so I picked up another one. I love it because it just, let me show you what it does. I can do this with one hand. I love these dishes. You can just put them. They must have been hard set because I've never seen these back here, so they must have just started selling them. So, yep, that's how it goes. You can just throw your pasta, rice, whatever you want to, vegetables. This is really good for like salad, fruit. You just rinse it out. And it sits right on top of your um, sink. So I got one of those. Then I got some more of these. Y'all, I've been switching out my old shakers with the new shakers that they have now. Then I picked up some of these bowls. I picked up some curtain rings and hooks for my curtains that I've been meaning to pick up for like six months. Don't judge me. Pick up some forks because clearly our forks grow legs and walk away. Um, I think that's it. Oh, of course, this mixing bowl. My husband saw this and was like, let's get it. So, you can use this for like salad. We do wings and uh, barbecue chicken or whatever. You could just toss it in there. Yeah. No, just put it in the sink. I don't want to put it in the dishwasher. It might melt. Okay, so also I picked up three of these brass one inch um, curtain rods. And I also picked up another another picture ledge. To go in my dining room so I can add some more pictures. Got the camera off. So. And there's Christian. Christian gotta get this way because she's standing in the light. And it's making you look. So, yeah, there you go. There you go. So yeah, now I gotta put all this stuff up in like clean. Alright y'all, so this is how everything is looking. I had to put it in two pans because I did not realize how big this rose was. Agree. It's almost like when we first met. Oh, I don't care. 
it's getting too late I want you and I can't wait Don't wanna spend a minute without you I know you feel the same So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch And make me wanna say And yeah, you know what's up Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body So give me all you got right now Just skip the beat, yeah. This feeling is getting so strong. Love me till the morning, love me all night long. There's something special about you. You're the one that I want. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say. 